Clean water is something that affects all aspects of our lives, from health to our homes. From the economy to the ecosystems, we need clean water to prosper and thrive. We are standing here next to the PCA Tomahawk Paper Mill along the Wisconsin River. The paper mill is a staple of our town and has been a major regional employer for decades. There are many businesses like the paper mill that rely on the river's clean water to produce their products. This is one of the many ways we rely on our water up in the Northwoods. So we need water for our cattle, our employees, our families. We need it for our crops. Uh, it's a sustainable closed loop system and so it's imp as important for agriculture as it is for anybody else. We are on Boom Lake, which is the backwaters of the Wisconsin River. The river rolls through the, uh, the paper, Brown under paper mill as well as through the Hat Rapids Dam for power. And, uh, but more importantly, I use the water too for recreation. So we enjoy pontooning, we enjoy fishing. I raise my kids uh, pulling them behind in an inner tube. So clean water and the quality of the water and the air in the northern Wisconsin is a big deal to me up here. As you see, we're standing on the banks of the Mississippi River. And the commerce that goes up and down this river with barges is essential for the grains to get from the fields to the water to the world. You would think that in suburban area, all you'd see were houses and pavement, paved roads. But in fact, we have a lot to offer in this area. You'll see families walking their, their dogs, bringing their children to play, and also have access to the lake where they can go swimming, they can go boating, kayaking, or just sitting in front of the lake and enjoying the beauty of the water. Uh, it's about a 44 acre lake and about 19,000 acres drain to this dam, so it's one of our largest dams. So the dams are important, but it's also what can we do on the landscape with the farmers. Some farming practice is what you're also possibly could be changing here right. going forward to keep that clean water, keep that soil where it belongs. This is a really good example of prep. So right there you see the cornfield, that's a great example of uh, you know a cropland. And right here is a large filter strip. It picks up the nutrients, it picks up all the, the silt or anything that else comes off the field, and it prevents it from getting into the stream bed. And so we'll walk over the stream bed here in a moment, and you'll see with the rainfall that we've had just in the last couple days, that stream is nice and clear. We have worked in a bipartisan fashion to craft legislation aimed at protecting and enhancing one of Wisconsin's most precious resources, clean water.